This is Ares 1X Launch Control, T minus 2 hours, 38 minutes, 12 seconds and counting. We are progressing toward a targeted liftoff of the Ares 1X this morning. Slightly behind schedule, but uh, close to that. Approximately 8.15 or 8.30 is our expected liftoff time at this time. Our countdown did begin on time at 1 o'clock this morning. And since that time, the work to power up the launch vehicle has been incremental. There has been a thunderstorm at the launch pad overnight, and uh, the effects of that are that uh, we have had some strikes close enough to the launch pad that require that we take a more deliberate approach to powering up the vehicle and also to doing some retesting that uh, will be required to certify that the launch vehicle is uh, all right and uh, can be certified for a launch this morning. There is a standard procedure required when we get lightning within a certain range of the launch pad that we go through and look at all of the systems on the launch vehicle to be sure that they're okay. And uh, as well, the range systems on the vehicle also have to be tested and verified. So all of that work is going to be going on in parallel with our other launch countdown procedures and we'll be trying to keep things reasonably close to a liftoff this morning. Right now, as we said, between about 8.15 and 8.30. However, the weather forecast has not changed since yesterday, unfortunately, that the original forecast after we scrubbed yesterday anticipated some improvement, particularly in the upper level clouds, and that has not happened. So we are expecting to have to uh, deal with the triboelectric concern with uh, clouds uh, up around 26,000 feet. And we'll be watching that just as we did yesterday with a weather reconnaissance aircraft and uh, looking for an opportunity within our four-hour four, four hour launch window to go. Uh, otherwise, the uh, weather is not, uh, not too bad. The uh, winds have died down, and the rest of our launch uh, weather criteria are, are expected to uh, to be reasonably uh, in line with what we need for a launch attempt. Right now we expect that the rotating service structure, the uh, gantry-like uh, system around the vehicle that uh, provides access to the vehicle, will be retracted at about 6 o'clock this morning. Also we expect the upper stage access arm to be retracted between about 5.30 and 5.45 but uh, all of this, uh, of course, is uh, predicated on getting all of the work done. We need to do just uh, as yesterday. We uh, have a target for retracting these um, arms and the uh, rotating service structure, but uh, we do it when we're ready. They're getting ready to launch another weather balloon over at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, and uh, this, uh, again, will be something that uh, gives us a clue as to what the upper altitude conditions are doing. And uh, that will also be of assistance to determining the loads on the vehicle as far as upper altitude winds and uh, help us give some guidance to the weather reconnaissance aircraft on the kind of things that we want them to look for when they're airborne later this morning. At T minus 2 hours, 34 minutes, 30 seconds and counting, this is Ares 1X Launch Control. 